What's up, people? Y'all already know who it is. If you don't, I don't even care. But anyways, check out the link at the bottom so y'all know what I'm talking about. But um, I'm not understanding why people are debating about this whole situation. I'm I'm really lost. Like, what's the big deal? You know, I, I mean, you know, when 9/11 happened, everybody was talking about their safety. Uh, what is the airlines doing? Now they doing something. Everybody complaining. Up they pedophiles. Up they checking the kids too much. You know what? If whoever kid that was in the video, parent, mother, father, felt some type of way about the guy checking them. All he had to do was, you know what, we can go somewhere else. It's called the Greyhound, travel by yourself. Do something else. I don't know the train. Like, if you feel some type of way, if you your kid, you don't want your kid to get checked like that, use something else. Use some other uh, transportation. I, I don't know. But I don't see the big deal. I don't see no why everybody tripping about it. Um, I read another article about, you know, like a lot of people uh, use their kids to plant stuff on them. Like, you know, like, I don't know, weapons, knives, you know, bombs, stuff like that. They... Because you got to think about it, like, you know, why would they check a kid? You know, look at this kid. I mean, I would check him. If he look suspicious, why not check him? If I look suspicious and I'm getting on a plane they want to check me, go ahead. You know what? If I feel some type of way, I can always use something else. You know, I can use other transportation to get where I need to go. But um, I don't see the big deal. I read another article. Let me tell you about this article. It was about um, um, a kid, he didn't want to sit down in his seat when he the plane was about to take off. You know how they always say safety, put your uh, um, seatbelt on, all that, blah, blah, blah. So the kid was not trying to, you know, they had to restrain him. The mother and father had to restrain him because he kept on moving around. So they turned the plane back around, and they told them to, um, to get off the fucking plane because the kid would not control himself. He was acting crazy. So I can kind of understand that. So... They wrote the, uh, the airlines back talking about, I don't know why they did that. Now they're trying to sue them or something like that. I mean, you know what? And that goes out, not even be random. If you got one of them kids and they, they can't be on the airplanes and they make all the noise, I'm not trying to hear that shit. I play my, I pay my good money. I'm not trying to hear your kid fucking cry on the damn airplane doing all that extra shit. Like, you cannot control your kid for an hour or however the fuck long the plane is supposed to go to that destination then you need to not be on the fucking plane you need to one kind of try to control your fucking kid two i don't even fucking know because i'm random as fuck right now but <laughs> but that's about it y'all tell me what y'all think about this whole situation i just thought you know like why not check them you know what i mean like if i was on a fucking wheelchair you know i might have something planted on me somewhere under the seat i don't hey check his ass man like really no homo you about that but um uh, that's about it subscribe rate comment man